And I went to Korea, and I was blown away by the Korean mobile technology. So Korea had the, had, is one of these countries that had the ability to build their mobile infrastructure up, um, what, 20 years after the US did, 15 years after the US did? And the mobile, technology, it, the mobile technologies in Korea were off the hook. Um, and I, I came back with a really different view about what the potential for mobile was. This afternoon we have Jin Ho, CEO of Crazy Fish, to talk to us about what the state of the mobile game market is in Korea today. And I'm really looking forward to hearing what he has to say. So with that, take it away. Thank you, David. Actually, uh, uh, just like any other market, uh, the mobile game market in Korea is also exploding. And, uh, but uh, as you may understand, Korea is a relatively unknown country, uh, in particular the, the many people in, in Europe and also the many people in Russia here and Ukraine here. So I'd like to talk about the, uh, the, op uh, the overall market and also what's happening in Korea uh, in terms of the growth of the mobile game market. And, and I, will, I hope this talk will, will give you an idea about what kind of the opportunities are there and how we can find uh, the take, take advantage of the opportunity there. Let me begin with a couple of the success stories, because a story about the successful games in, in, the, in the local market. Uh, these two games have been pretty uh, successful in the last uh, 18 months. Uh, Rule the Sky and Tiny Farm, uh, both of them are being very simple uh, simulation-based uh, social game. Actually, the Tiny Farm is a very uh, simple the farming game, and the Rule the Sky is very similar to the Wii Rule, uh, which used to be very popular on, on, on iPhone. And then, uh, in, uh, Rule the Sky has been in the market for almost 18 months now, and Tiny Farm has been in the market for about 12 months. And both of the game has been uh, has experienced about almost 10 million downloads worldwide, and roughly 50% of them coming from Korea. And based on the, and these the 10 million, million downloads, uh, both of these games uh, enjoyed roughly uh, $4 million of the revenue per month. So actually, so these uh, two games has been pretty successful top game in last, uh, last almost uh, six, to eight, uh, six to 12 months. And then uh, something happened to about two months ago. Uh, I will uh, explain a little bit more about the Kakao uh, platform uh, uh, later. Uh, in later, and uh, but the at the beginning of the August, the Kakao uh, which is actually mobile messenger, uh, they have launched a game platform on top uh, on top of the, the user base, and then this game, uh, number uh, the top game on the Kakao Talk platform, has experienced many, many download and uh, the revenue. Uh, if I give you some numbers. At the, at, the, at the end of the September, which is about eight weeks after the launching, uh, the, this game got 20 million downloads and 10 million DAU and 3 million concurrent users. And the, the, the key is uh, also one interesting thing is that their revenue uh, at the, their peak time was up to 300,000 US dollars per day. Uh, I'm not talking about per month, I'm talking about per day. So that means that their monthly revenue was uh, rough, uh, roughly about $10 million uh, for, uh, in their peak days. Of course, this game is a very simple uh, three object in a row type of game, so the life cycle is not that long. So, so the traffic is now already uh, start, uh, declining, but uh, this gives you, uh, will gives you the power of the, the, the Kakao Talk platform in terms of the traffic they can bring to your, to your new game. However, if you, uh, don't be mis uh, misguided that uh, every game can perform this well on, on Kakaoto platform. I will talk about a, a, kind of, a kind of average performance game on Kakaoto uh, platform. Uh, this game is the one game we have launched on Kakaoto platform and uh, about average in terms of the download and in terms of the DAU. Uh, Saying that, uh, having said that, the, what, uh, the level of the performance we get from the Kakaoto in the last uh, two months was that there, there are 2 million downloads and 200,000 DAU. So you can uh, expect that once you can get your game on Kakaoto, you, you'll be able to get about 2 million, down, uh, at basically about 1 million download per month for a couple of months. So um, the, it will give you, up an, uh, give you an idea about what level of the traffic uh, you can uh, get from Kakaoto. Now, let me give you a little bit of the, the context. Uh, in Korean market, uh, the, there are roughly uh, more than 30 million uh, the smartphone handsets uh, out of the 50 million people. Uh, and around the end of this year, we expect that number to grow up to 35 to 40 million in the handset. 
one third iOS, two third Android. Very typical, uh, very similar to other market in general. And uh, the overall market size is estimated to be about uh, $500 million or half billion dollar now. But many people believe that the market will grow to a couple of billion dollars in the next few years. Because the, the, may, the key trend of the game uh, business, uh, games are now uh, more into uh, free-to-play type of games. So free-to-play free type, type of games are dominant in the market. So it will give, uh, uh, which naturally means that the market will grow several times from current, current size. So this is actually the, uh, the screenshot uh, of the uh, top grossing ranking on App Store as of the, at the middle of the September. And if you look at the, the list, out of the 20 top grossing application, 14 of them are games. And out of the 14 games, actually 13 games are free to play. And only one game are paid download, which means that all, now the, more than 90% of the revenue uh, from, uh, in mobile game uh, market in Korea is coming from free to play type of games. Now, let me give you a little bit of the, the, the details about the keywords, uh, uh, details about the Korean market in terms of the few keywords, uh, important keywords. Uh, if, uh, first keywords you need to understand would be T-Store which is a local Android market operated by local carriers. So you need to uh, understand uh, the market scene uh, in terms of the, uh, the Android market and app stores. And then the second keyword is uh, naturally Kakaoto, which uh, made a lot of big uh, changes in the mobile game, gaming market. And then third one is that no AdMob, no InMob, no TapJoy. So you, there is no uh, uh, global the marketing tools uh, available in the, in the local market which means that you need to uh, be able to uh, uh, find a good local partner to, uh, for, for the marketing of the game. Let me begin with the first, uh, the T-Store and, and the Android. Uh, I mentioned that the number of the Android handset is about twice uh, uh, the number of the, uh, the iOS handset. And uh, based on that number, the, if you look at uh, this uh, overall the revenue, you can expect uh, uh, the revenue for the game, uh, 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 mobile game, uh, the market, the Android market is roughly twice uh, bigger than iOS, which is very unique in, uh, in Korea. Uh, in, for example, in the US, uh, the, there are a lot more Android handsets, but the, the general market size uh, on iOS uh, is two to three times bigger than Android. But in Korea, it is the other way around. And the key reason is because there are three carriers, uh, three Android market which are operated by the local carriers. And the uh, T-Store is operated by K uh, the SKT, OLE Market is by KT, all the store by LG uh, U Plus, and then there is a Google Play. And that, uh, you, you can see the numbers uh, which are actually the market share in terms of the revenue. And all of these markets has very, very good, very tight integration of the, the payment infrastructure uh, with the, uh, the, which the carrier provides, which means that when you make an the, the in-app purchase, that uh, the, the payment is become a part of the phone bill which makes the, the payment really, really easy. So naturally, the output becomes very high. So uh, uh, the, I can say the, the, on average, the output you can expect from uh, Android, Android handset is roughly the same as the, the output you can expect, expect from the iOS device. Uh, you, I understand that the, in, the, in the US, the output between uh, iOS device uh, pr uh, compared to Android uh, device is roughly eight to one. But in Korea, it is almost a one-to-one, -one, which makes uh, the, uh, the, the, the overall size of the Android market is twice bigger than iOS market. So if you look into the details of the, the numbers, uh, we measure the ARPDAU, uh, which is very typical the measure of, for the social games. Uh, for the casual type of social games like farming or the cafe management or the simulation type of simulation games, uh, we have roughly 10 cents to 30 cents of the ARP uh, DAU, uh, I mean revenue per day per DAU. And for hardcore games like strategy and RPG, we have roughly 30 cents to 60 cents per day per DAU. And some games, it goes up uh, as high as $1 per day per DAU. So based on then these numbers, uh, if you have the moderately successful games, uh, we are by, by, by moderately successful games, I mean top 30, top 50 uh, in Google Play uh, or the App Store, then the, the game uh, will have roughly uh, 100,000, between 100,000 and 500,000 dollars of the 
uh, revenue per month. So this is the, the type of the revenue you can expect from very standard uh, process of the, the marketing, uh, in, uh, I mean, the promotion in, in, the, in the local market. And then comes the cacao talk. Kakoto has made the very big changes. So now it's uh, the market, uh, uh, the mobile game market uh, in, uh, in now is very different from three months ago. Kakoto is a mobile messenger with uh, about 60 million people uh, users, roughly 50% of them coming from Korea, which means that there are 30 million users from Korea. Uh, and uh, they launched their game platform in early August with about 10 games. Now. Uh, uh, the, it, is, it became dominant at uh, the game distribution platform uh, in just two months. So if you look into the uh, Google Play top grossing ranking, uh, six uh, games out of 10 top grossing uh, games are the games launched on Kakaoto. And it is the same in uh, the Apple App Store. If you look into the App Store top grossing ranking, top three games are from Kakaoto. So if the, the, there are the, uh, the top one through top five games on, on Google Play are uh, all from Kakaoto. And the number one game there, now uh, they have roughly somewhere between $200,000 to $300,000 of the revenue per day. And then top five games, uh, we estimate that their, their, their daily revenue would be roughly $100,000. So based on this success of the, uh, the Kakao platform, now they are coming, uh, a lot of the new game platform coming uh, with a similar type of the uh, capability of the driving traffic to, to, to the game. So Cyworld Mobile is launching uh, in November, next month. Uh, Cyworld is actually Facebook of Korea, uh, which means that the Cyworld was the number one social network uh, in Korea with almost 30 million uh, users. Now they have been lagging behind in mobile and mobile uh, businesses, but they are launching mobile gaming platform uh, based, based on their, their users. Uh, we believe that this will not make that much of the impact uh, as big as the Kakao Talk, but Cyworld will be a very pretty good uh, platform. Platform, and then TikTok is also competing a mobile messenger with about with about 15 million people, uh, 15 million users. So this gaming uh, platform uh, will play a very, very key role in be, being a may, the dominant game distribution platform uh, uh, down the road. Third keyword is that actually the, the, uh, we are a publisher. I, I will explain a little bit more about my company later, but uh, we experience a lot of the developers, in particular from outside Korea, who believes that they can do the marketing uh, in the, for the targeting the Korean market by themselves through the Google Play and app stores. And then whenever I get that feedback, I just say that, good luck. And uh, you know, you should have very uh, good marketing tool in order to be able to drive uh, your, your game in the local market. But AdMob, Inmobi and Tapjoy have their presence in Korea, but their share of their market, a share of their market in terms of the, uh, the advertising inventory is less than, I can estimate uh, 20% uh, with all of them combined, which means that there are 80% of the, uh, uh, the advertising inventory for the mobile advertising coming from local players, local advertising, the, the marketing companies. So, you have to have a pretty good understanding of the how, the, what kind of the, uh, the marketing, the, the, the tools are available. And also, as I mentioned earlier, there are three local Android market, T-Store, or the Ole Market, and Other Store, which uh, behave very different from Google Play. And also, the Google Play is just about 15% of the market share in terms of the total Android market. So you have to understand T-Store, you have to understand local and the marketing uh, the promotion tools. So you need local partner. I, I don't think you can do it uh, by yourselves. And also, the social uh, the platform like the Kakao Talk or the there are several the social platforms like Come to Us Hub, Game Be Live, and uh, the Viva Game from my, my own company and Kakao Talk. Uh, they are actually driving more than 50% of the new user acquisition for new new games. So you have you need a very good partnership with those social platforms. So. One word, find a good, strong local partner who, who, who can help uh, you to drive them uh, more, better, more revenue, more, more traffic. So uh, uh, let me give you a little, little bit of a summary of, the, of the, the what happened in, in uh, I mean, the, the uh, keyword for the success in the local market. Uh, I mentioned about two games, Rule the Sky and Tiny Farm in the beginning. And uh, the key uh, 
key factor, a uh, key reason for their success actually was uh, that uh, because the developer of this game provided continuous update of the game for 18 months, 12 to 18 months. Of course, uh, the, both of these games were uh, not performing well in the beginning for like three to six months. Their uh, growth was something like this. But they continue to provide uh, update of the game based on the market feedback at least uh, twice a month. So after six months, they started to take off. And then, uh, then uh, the, uh, with the continued uh, the update and or the continued the feedback, uh, the response to the market feedback, they, could, uh, uh, they were able to achieve that uh, 10 million download and uh, three to four million dollar revenue per month. And then the second one is that uh, you have to try to find the right distribution platform. Uh, I mentioned that there are the social gaming platform is driving more than 50% of the 50% of the new user acquisition, including uh, the Kakao token and Cyworld uh, Mobile. So, trying to find the right uh, social platform like this and be uh, on that platform is very important. And the third, and uh, but not the, the not the least important part, uh, one is that uh, find the right uh, the right uh, local partner who can help you uh, drive better traffic and better the revenue in terms uh, by giving better the marketing cam uh, campaign. So, uh, uh, so I think that uh, this is about the what uh, I wanted to bring you to the, the Korean market. So, in a word, Korean market is exploding, and also in terms of the overall market size, uh, at least for the mobile game market, uh, the t overall size of the market in Korea is comparable to China. I mentioned that the, the, the Korean market size in China is roughly half billion. Um, uh, we're growing up to, to, to a couple of billion dollars. But, and also currently many people are talking about China market naturally. But uh, if you look into the total size of the market for the mobile, uh, focused on the mobile gaming, the Korean market is, I mean, uh, put it this way, China market is not bigger than twice the Korean market. Which means that, uh, Considering the, the, uh, the effort for the, you need for the marketing, uh, uh, the, I th we believe the Korean market would, would give you a better opportunity in terms of the world you can get. For example, uh, the Daria mentioned about uh, the complexity of the, the, the China market, but let me give you one number, and uh, two numbers. In, in China, there are 200 Android markets. 200, not two, 200 Android market, and you have to be at least in 80 of them, 80 Android market, in order to be able to cover meaningful size of the uh, users. Imagine how, how much uh, the, of the marketing cost you will need to uh, put your game on 80 Android market, and uh, how much uh, the marketing cost you have, uh, the, the budget you have to spend in order to, to cover, the, uh, cover the traffic, I mean, to get the traffic from the China market. Compared to that, there are only four market, where well, not one, but but uh, but four is a lot smaller than 80 market, and uh, CPI cost in Korea is uh, very similar to the CPI cost in China, which means that marketing cost is very similar in Korea compared to China, but the revenue you can expect from Korean market is very similar, not smaller than China market. You, you will not. Uh, I bet you will not be able to get more than twice of the revenue in China market compared to the Korea market. So, come to Korea. Korea is a still untapped market that will get, give you a very good opportunities. Now, my company is uh, the the publish uh, publisher focused on publishing mobile social game market with uh, main presence in Korea. And now we are uh, entering the China Japan market through our partners. We, have, we are not in China market yet, but we will soon uh, uh, enter the China market, China market, of course. And uh, we do have our own the mobile game platform called Viva Game, but we bring the, uh, the older games, uh, not only on Viva Game, but also we have the par partnership with the Kakao Talk, and also we are launching partner, actually we are launching partner with the Kaka, uh, the Kaka, for the Kakao Talk, and now we have uh, one game on Kakao Talk and two more games, uh, which we have uh, one game signed and a third game. Now we have discussion with the Kakao Talk uh, to put on the Kakao Talk. And also for the Cyworld Mobile, we have three game, uh, uh, three games to be launched when they launch the platform in November. And also we are now uh, this, uh, working with the Line Messenger in Japan. Actually, Line Messenger is very similar to Kakao Talk in terms of the number of users. Line Messenger has 70 million users. 
globally and has about 30 to 35 million users from Japan. And they did some market testing with a couple of games, which was very successful. So they are now making, uh, planning on a big launch of the game platform around the end of this year. So Line Messenger will be a very good opportunity of the bringing the, the social games uh, you have into the, the Japan market. Uh, when you talk about Japan market, everybody is talking about mobile game green. But I don't, I don't believe that you will be able to enter the mobile game green market because the user behavior in that those to the mobile game green are very different from other social network. You know, they, they are very much they, they focused on the, the trading card games and very much Japan style the, the games. But in Line Messengers, you'll be able to bring your social games and casual games to, to the, the, the Japan users, Japanese users. So uh, if you look into the, the Japan market, think first, uh, first think about the Line Messenger as your the first uh, the potential partners. So uh, uh, that's about it. So if you have any uh, games interested in Korea market and potentially Japan and, and the China market, come to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? I have one. Yes. I always have one. Um, I was curious, what, it sounds like you're mostly interested in free-to-play games, not premium games? Yeah, uh, actually we focus only on freemium games because the, we, our expert, expertise is coming from marketing the social games, which means that we are uh, pretty, a lot of expertise in marketing the social games, but not much on selling paid download games. Can you talk a little bit about differences in user behavior and the types of games or free-to-play free -to transactions that Korean customers maybe are unique? Ah, yeah, actually the, uh, we consider the three, uh, we are looking into the three different groups uh, the uh, category of games. Uh, initially, uh, for originally we focused on uh, social games and hardcore games. On the, by social games, I mean the simulation games like the farming, cafe management, and uh, uh, airport management, and, what, uh, and the, the tycoon type of games. Uh, were typical the social games, and those games were pretty popular uh, the, uh, in, 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 in Korean market, just like the case of the Tiny Farm and Rule the Sky. And then, uh, the, the, uh, the other category we uh, focused on were, uh, is the, uh, the hardcore game, a mid-core to hardcore game, which is very basically strategy, strategy game and RPG games. So in our lineup, uh, we have uh, roughly 60% of our game in that category, and roughly 40% of game and focus on uh, this uh, the casual social games. And then, uh, we didn't focus uh, we didn't uh, focus on the casual puzzle games, uh, very casual games, uh, uh, like the any power, the visual bliss type of games. But with the success of the Kakaoto platform, which in general, uh, in, uh, in general covered non-gamers, so 20 million users who downloaded loaded any pound. Uh, I bet 80% uh, of them has never played a game on mobile. But, downloaded, but they downloaded Anypang and they became a gamer. And which means that the, the, the good game to address uh, those non-gamer or the, the big, beginners uh, would be pretty uh, simple uh, casual games. Th that is why we started looking to uh, casual games with proper viral and social uh, features. Were those games multiplayer? Sorry? Were those games multiplayer or single player? Uh, actually, game itself is a single player, but they have a social feature so that, that they can uh, uh, have a very strong viral loop which goes through the Kakaotalk platform. Just like the Jenga game uh, is uh, utilizing the news feed and free gifting on, 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 on Facebook, the, those games are single player games, but they're utilizing very much on their messaging towards their, their friends. Excellent. Thank you very much. Ooh, we have a question up front. Hello. Um, actually, I don't have a question, but uh, um, I just want to say uh, thank you because um, you, I didn't expect you took such a long time to introduce our application Line Messenger <laughs> I know, I know, from Japan. Many, they yeah, from actually, Line Messenger that's Japan. my service, and uh, actually, <coughs> um, yeah, it's true. And uh, we are trying to um, make a big hit in like Kakao Talk did, and uh, you know, hope we can uh, talk with Crazy Fish too, and they're really doing uh, great publisher. So, and uh, if you want to come to Japan market, talk to us, okay? To me too, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> now, now you must give him a whole bunch of free traffic. <laughs> okay, anything else? 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.